Welcome back. A growing trend in uh, gardening and landscaping, native plants along with their natural beauty. Native plants are great for wildlife, such as our important pollinators. Here to tell us all about native plants, Adam Bachman from Bachman's. Welcome. Mm -hmm. It's good to see I you bet. again yeah, here. Great to see you. Uh, to what do you owe the popularity of, of the, the these types of plants mm -hmm. now? You know, I think just the increasing knowledge of the impact we can have on our environment, uh, and these native plants are going to have a positive impact on in all of your outdoor spaces. Are they easy to grow? They're very easy to grow. I brought with me here a couple of the most popular examples of what, some native plants. Talk about this one um, that we just. So Shaw. this is yep. Asclepius or Asclepius, uh, both pronunciations would be correct. This is really what uh, monarchs are after. They feed on this uh, and there's a lot of different varieties so you can have fun with it. You can have kind of the most popular variety. You'll see this oftentimes growing along the roadways uh, and butterflies, other pollinators love to visit this. In our yard, where would we put this, like at home yard? It's going to require full sun mm. um, and one of the great things about these native plants is once they get established, they seldom require any sort of water, any kind of mulching or protection. They're generally disease and pest resistant uh, and that's because they're native to this area. They, they're kind of the toughest of the tough. Uh, and they can put up uh, so just kind cut of the them most back, neglect. Cut them back and they'll come right back yep. again. In These the, are all in perennials. The yep. uh, what do you have next to you? So coneflower, this is kind of fun because you can sort of see kind of the progression as it's about to bloom here as it's in bloom and then as it sort of is reaching the end. Uh, and again, these native plants oftentimes are providing pollen, nectar, seeds for all types of wildlife in the area. Um, so I like to let these kind of go until they reach that this kind of ending point here. Can you mix them with other types of plants in the yard? Does that work? I would generally, generally recommend that. I have some native plants in my yard that are mixed in with um, some of the more popular landscape varieties. And it's interesting because the native plants really require no attention and I do see pests and other unsightly things on some of the more popular items that are beautiful uh, but don't have that kind of natural resistance that these will. So because these are native they're more resistant to all of the other predator Absolutely. Uh, types of pests and bugs. Yep. And, and they often have deep roots too so they're great for uh, erosion control and can help with some water water runoff as well. Now we're uh, getting to a season, uh, the growing season, I don't want to talk about it, mm -hmm. but we get to the state fair and we think oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. it is the end of summer. Mm -hmm. uh, is this a good time to get these things in the ground then? It is. We still have a great selection of all the different varieties in the stores. Um, fall really is the best time to plant. If you didn't plant in the spring um, and you can hold off till fall, fall is the best time to plant. But right now with the temperatures where they are, Mother Nature providing some water, um, it's, it's still a really good time to plant. And to speak about the water, we did up in the front, uh, Laura Betker, of course, spearheading our and championing our effort yeah. in the front of CARE. If you drive by uh, on uh, General Mills Boulevard, you're going to see that it looks like our lawn has been removed, which it has. Uh, <laughs> do you have to irrigate? Do you have to water? So You know, it's a good idea. Uh, generally, when those are planted, uh, they're planted by seeds. So those seeds need to be wet uh, to germinate. Um, so if you can do it in the fall when it's a little bit cooler and wetter, that's going to be the best time. Well, that's nice. It's good now. And of course, you know, a lot of times you can pick up some pretty good deals towards yeah, the end well, of the season. Yeah, well, and your space looks great out yeah. front here. It is. It's, it's doing well. It's start. growing. I was uh, examining it this weekend. Yeah. I slowed down to take a look at it. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for the 411 on this. Uh, a yeah. lot of good information here today. And of course, uh, Bachman's happy to help you out as well Absolutely. with more information, all these great varieties that they carry at their stores. Uh, for uh, find out more at Care 11 app, just scroll down to the As Seen on TV section.